Hi guys, today I'll be reading The Little Mermaid. Let's get started. I'm going to put you right here. The Little Mermaid. Deep beneath the sea, there lived a mermaid named Ariel. Ariel's father was the great King Triton, the ruler of Atlantica. Triton thought that humans were dangerous and warned his subjects to stay away from them. But Ariel was certain he was wrong. She long, longed to be a part of the world above the water, and so she spent her time exploring shipwrecks and her friend Flounder. Oh, with her friend Flounder. So, right there, that's Ariel. That's Flounder, just in case you haven't seen the movie. That's what she looks like as a human. That's her dress. One day, Ariel noticed a ship on the surface of the water. This was her chance to see a human up close. Ariel and Flounder swam up to the ship on board. The sailors were celebrating the birthday of a human they called Prince Eric. Ariel's eyes lit up. She had never seen anyone so handsome before. Suddenly, the sky darkened. Heavy rain began to fall. Huge waves tossed the ship. Eric was flung into the sea. Ariel quickly swam to the rescue and pulled the prince to shore on the beach. Ariel sang a song to the prince, unconscious prince, as his eyes began to open. She heard another voice. Before anyone could see her, Ariel dove back into the water. Sorry, she can see my underwear. Don't look. I'll cover it. Okay. So, that's Eric. That's Ariel. Their names have like them, okay? Okay. When King Triton learned that Ariel had saved a human, he was furious. He forbid her. He forbidden her to see him again. But Daddy, I love him. Ariel sobbed. King Triton could could not believe his ears. His daughter in love with a human. The king followed Ariel to a cave where she kept her human treasure. To teach her a lesson, he destroyed everything inside. Heartbroken, Ariel sat down and wept above her two sly-looking eels called Flotsam and Jetsam emerged from the shadow. A little mermaid looked up. Poor sweet child, baby. Don't be scared. We know someone who can make all your dreams come true. So that's King Triton. Those are her all belongings. And then those are the those are the two eels. The eels brought Ariel to see the to the sea witch. Looking. Ursula, who offered her a deal. She would she would t make Ariel human for three days if she could make Eric fall in love with her by sunset on the third day. She would remain human, but if Prince Eric did not kiss her, 
she would become a mermaid and so it, again that an earth would be and would be Ursula's slave. In exchange for making her human, Ursula demanded Ariel's voice. Frightened and determined, Ariel signed Ursula's contract. That's Ursula. And I know that it doesn't make sense. Like, literally... Ariel's voice flew from her body and was captured in a sh seashell around Ursula's neck. In a flash, Ariel lost her tail and grew legs. Ariel's friends helped her to the surface. Prince Eric was on the beach with his dog, Max. When he, when he saw, when when what he saw Ariel. Okay, I'm back. So, when he saw Ariel, Eric thought she might be a girl, the girl who had saved him. But Ariel couldn't talk. She could not be the girl he was looking for. Feeling sorry for the voiceless girl, Prince Eric led Ariel back to the palace. The next day, the next day, he took her on a tour of his kingdom. Ariel smiled smelled flowers, and danced for the first time. She was finally a part of the human world. Ariel, Ariel was sure the prince was falling in love with her, but she did not kiss her. So, that's like his dog, Matt. Um, and there's like his cape boat. I know it's a very small picture. Ooh, here's a big picture coming up. That evening, Prince Eric took Ariel for a boat ride in the lagoon. As they drifted through the water, Eric leaned forward to kiss Ariel. But Ursula was watching them. She could not let Eric kiss Ariel. And she sent her eels to take the boat. So she wanted Ariel to be her slave. So that's not good. Uh oh. Okay, let's see. What was that? Was a close one. Too close, said Ursula. The sea witch knew it was time to make matters into her own hands. Ursula mixed the, a magic potion and changed herself into a beautiful girl named Vanessa. With Ariel's voice trapped around her neck, Ursula, a.k.a. Vanessa, made her way to the shore, where the prince was wandering alone. As soon as Eric heard Ariel's voice, he fell under Ursula's spell. He and Vanessa announced that they were to be married the next day. Ariel was heartbroken. The next morning, she, as she cried to her friend, Scuttle, the seagull, flew up. He had discovered that Vanessa was really Ursula. Ariel's friend, Sebastian, went to find the sea king while Flounder helped Ariel swim toward the wedding, the wedding ship. As Vanessa and Eric were about to say their vows, Scuttle and his friends swooped down and attacked Vanessa's necklace. Vanessa's necklace broke, and she, and the beautiful voice inside flew back to its rightful owner. Eric realized that Ariel was the one who he truly loved. He was about to kiss her when the sun sank below the horizon. Eric was too late. Ariel turned back into a mermaid. Ursula grabbed her and dove into the sea, the ocean. King Triton was waiting beneath the water. He could not stand to see Ariel become Ursula's slave. 
He changed the signature on the contract to his own and handed his magic triton, triton to the sea witch. Ursula crackled as she put King Triton's crown on her head. Using her new magic, she turned herself into a giant. Nothing could stop her now. But Prince Eric was not about to lose Ariel. He dove into the water and swam to the mermaid. Ursula laughed again, pointed to the triton. She formed a whirlpool around Ariel and Eric. Just then, an accident the sunken ship rose to the surface of the water. Eric climbed aboard using all his might. He aimed the ship's broken bow directly to Ursula and steered it through the heart. So there. Heart. With a terrible scream, the sea witch melted. King Triton was free. He looked at his daughter. Ariel sat on a rock, gazing lovely, lovely at Prince Eric on the beach. She really does love him, King Triton murmured. What, that, then, with the flourish of his Triton, the king granted Ariel with dearest wit, with her dearest wish to be a human forever. Ariel ran into Eric's arms. A few days later, the couple was married. All of their friends were invited to the wedding. King Triton gladly gave Ariel and Eric his blessing. He knew they would live happily ever after. The end. There's the back of the book. So, I hope you enjoy that story. Tell me which book you want me to do next. What story you want me to do next? I can do Aladdin. I can do Belle. I don't know which stories I can do. I have so many. Have a good day.